Oh, hey, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for coming back. I'm just hanging out here. Uh, it's a beautiful day, I'm listening to the birds here in the land of the Anishinaabe, the land of the seven First Nations of the Williams Treaty, the Chibois of Georgina Island, Rama, and Beausoleil, and the Mississaugas of Curve Lake, Alderville, Hiawatha, and Scugog Island. It's been a really rainy morning, actually. And I can hear the birds and I'm wondering if they're feeling maybe a little bit happy. It's actually, the rain this morning reminded me of a, another Robin story. Uh, this one happened a couple years ago when COVID first hit and we were sent home. And on my windowsill in my bedroom one day, our family noticed that there were all these brown dead grasses kind of in a circular shape. The wind came and blew them away. Well, we decided to keep our eye on that little spot and the next day we made an observation. There was a robin who was coming and bringing more brown dead grasses and gathering them in a circular shape and we determined that the robin was probably trying to make a nest but not, it wasn't being held together and the wind blew the grasses away. This happened a couple more days actually in a row and I started to feel actually pretty sad. I thought, well, what's happening? This poor robin wants to build a nest and um, the nest won't stay. And then we had a big rain, like the rain we had here this morning. And the robin came back with the grasses and with mud, with stick, wet mud, sticky wet mud. And uh, by the end of that day, we had a beautiful nest, a strong nest and a nest that would hold eggs. So when the rain falls like this in the spring, I, you know, I feel really grateful and hopeful that the robins and any other animal who needs to um, build their nest is having a good building day for their home. Well, we have our story to return to of the nest. Let's remember what happens in this story. You want to sing with me? Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A mama bird sang to me. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A robin red breast led me to her nest. Now what do you think I did see? There was one nest, delicate and brown, in a cozy little place with nobody else around. And Mama said to me, come back in one week. I promise there will be more to see. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A mama bird sang to me. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A robin red breast led me to her nest. Now what do you think I did see? There were four eggs, delicate and blue, in a cozy little place with nothing to do. And Mama said to me, come back in two weeks. I promise there will be more to see. That's right, you remember there's one brown nest, four delicate, small, beautiful blue eggs. And we made some predictions and there are some great predictions to share. Laura, your mom let me know that you thought there might be cracks in the eggs or that maybe the eggs had hatched. Miss Sherratt, two, grade two, three class, had some predictions that maybe there might be more eggs or maybe maybe the eggs had hatched or maybe there'd still be some eggs and some of them were hatched lots of thinking going on there and uh, kindergarten class at Robert Munch Public School had the prediction that maybe the mommy bird was going to be on the nest protecting her eggs and this prediction actually uh, reminded me of 
part of the story. You know, in this story, we talk about how me and the students I was with at the time would go out and, and check in on the nest and make predictions and obs make observations about what was happening. Well, when we came to the nest, we always came gently, quietly, and we always asked, we always asked the robin sitting on the nest if it would be okay if we looked in the nest and saw what was happening. Um, it felt good to ask, it felt good to get permission um, and make sure that we were being really respectful um, of her very, very special space and her very, very special eggs. Well, with those predictions, let's see what happens. Sing with me, I love your beautiful voices, sing. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A mama bird sang to me. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A robin red breast led me to her nest. Now what do you think I did see? There were four babies, delicate and pink. Eyes still closed and fast asleep. Mama said to me, come back in two weeks. I promise there will be more to see. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A mama bird sang to me. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. Cheer up, cheer up, cheerily. A robin red breast led me to her nest. Now what do you think I will see? Well, there you go. Aren't your predictions amazing? The eggs hatched and I'll let you know that they didn't all hatch at once. We observed that the eggs hatched at different times. So there were in fact times when there were some eggs that were hatched and some that were not. And there were these beautiful, tiny, pink baby birds and their eyes were closed they actually look like dark circles on the side of their faces well we're gonna head back in two weeks and see what there is to see why don't you pause the video and make a prediction well i've been loving the comments the predictions and the questions that i've been giving miss sherratt's grade two three class had the question if there will be a dad in this story and you know thanks again for your question because it actually wasn't until the eggs hatched that we realized that there was in fact not just a mommy but there was a daddy bird as well so a female and a male robin when the eggs broke open um, there were two robins that took turns bringing food to these um, babies that were so, so, so very hungry. So it's really neat um, when we start when we start looking in the land and making observations. It take, as time goes on, we start to realize, um, we start to get a fuller picture or understand more of what's happening. So it was only through making those observations. Uh, we started to realize that there's actually a male and a female robin and um you know i've kept looking at robins since this story took place a few years ago and i and i'm always fascinated i've started to notice that robins sometimes their heads can be darker sometimes they can be rounder sometimes they they seem to be taller um so I love using my trusty rusty binoculars to make observations. And I know, um, I heard Mrs. Hunter and Mrs. Smith's kindergarten class that you've made your own binoculars to make your own observations. So I hope you'll share some with us because we'd love to know uh, what you're noticing in the land. Okay, stay tuned. Next episode's up in a week and we'll share what happens. Those four delicate pink baby birds. Okay, take care. Talk to you soon.